So Rob and I, we're going to have a, a short little episode here, but just because, well, mm-hmm. two things. Number one, we were just interrupted <laughs> by a very loud dump truck. It went on for like 12 minutes. Comical <laughs> amount of time. Yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> I just had a tenant leave, so and they threw a bunch of stuff out. So in all credit, there was a lot of things out there. They were smashing like whole chairs, like yeah. plastic sleds, uh, storage containers, the whole nine. But, but also, se- second reason, you go got ahead. you got a job to go to. You got to get off. Somewhere. Yeah, I got to start work at nine. A little virtual PE for uh, <laughs> kids of the city of Chicago. I did so, want to talk to you know. about that because last time yeah. you came over, you had a slight limp. And it's because you had yeah. like activated something while doing jumping jacks for your virtual PE class, yeah. right? Or like, just in general, all the activity that I'm doing. Yeah. So like I was just talking about this to some coworkers yesterday, but like. All right, we're going to have to wait <laughs> to find out what those coworkers were told by Rob here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes. Hell yeah. I love that. It's you, it again <laughs> it again surprised me even though I knew it was coming. <laughs> you know, I was gonna have crazy ones and I still wanna have crazy ones at the beginning each time, but um anyway, still working that out. You said you were talking to a coworker. Yeah, so yesterday You said you have coworkers. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're they're on the computer, but they're real. <laughs> You're my only virtual uh, educator, though. I have on the podcast. Um, awesome. I, I had Joe on recently, but he's a he's a former educator, former so I, I, I need... in person educator. Exactly yeah. uh-huh. pre-corona yeah. education, yep. yeah. as it's known or will soon be known. The pre-rona era, yeah. But, um, but you got a full a ske- full schedule of work, and then um, yeah, you you've been busy doing a lot of things too, because you also been working at Target recently. Yeah, Friday nights. So like Fridays are kind of rough. I mean, it's okay because, like, honestly, like, like I kind of, I wanted to quit teaching mm-hmm. and just, like, work at Target, but, like, obviously, it's a huge pay decrease, you know? Oh, yeah. Plus, this and, way you can get your coworkers at Target to grade papers for you over the weekend yeah. if you got a Friday <laughs> shift, you know? I'll test out lesson plans on them. Like, <laughs> like hey, what are you doing on break? Come over here. That works. Yeah. Hell, yeah. No, but, like, so I was, yesterday, our principal had set up, like, self-care sessions with like this group called mosaic and basically they just come into schools and like teach us about like like our own personal wellness like how to take care of ourselves because we're doing a lot for like the students you know i thought you were going to tell me they're going to sell you like little glass tiles to make mosaics with you know they're (laughs) they're actually a pharmaceutical company they they sell us amphetamines to keep us you know 100 percent. teach right from (laughs) from mosaic (laughs) It's a lot, man. But I'm proud of you. You've been doing multiple jobs. It's, it's yeah, not easy. Thanks, man. Yeah. And teaching yeah. is one of those ones. You, you have a a differing schedule throughout the course of the year, so you, you can pull stuff off like that. I'm glad you've yeah. done it. And you, you were yes. doing during the summer. You're doing more of a full time. So this Friday yeah, thing yeah. is new. Even this is this is with the two gigs. But yeah. So like during I, the main Corona period, you were working as an essential worker. Yeah. At Target. Yeah. Overnight. Yeah. yeah. So like it was a little less um, risky, I guess. Were coronavirus, uh, you don't have to blow up target spot if you don't want, but was coronaviruses uh, with a vaccination, or not a vaccination, were the precautions a little bit lighter in the middle of the night when there weren't as many customers or no customers there? Kind of. Like, they still get honest about wearing our masks. But, for example, like, so one thing that I really like to do is unload the truck. Mm. So, like, they get trucks every night, and, like, you have to unload it, and then you push that product, like, onto the shelves. Okay. And so I like being on the truck. Because if not, you have to be on the line and the line kind of sucks, you know, and like on the line, usually like, yeah, the truck is like hard. A lot of people don't like to do it, but like it, there's no thinking. You're just putting boxes onto the line and pushing them down. Mm-hmm. But like on the line, like you could have to like pick up the slack for somebody else, you know, like mm-hmm. someone who's being lazy and it's just a pain in the ass. It's well, like kind of hectic. Anytime I've done like a second job or volunteered alongside my full time job. I did find the mental burden was a big part of it. Just being fatigued and drained from what you have um, mm-hmm. day to day. You only have so many hours of pure concentration you, you could use. Yeah. So I could see the the truck element being useful. Or oh, being, yeah, it's great. Being it's, good for like your secondary gig. You know, yeah. You're trying to pick up yeah. some hours or whatever. Because that's like, you know, what like someone. So in that mosaic meeting, um, one of the people there who was leading it said, like, you know, that's like the thing. She's like, today, me and Raul have been going for six hours straight but you all do that every day and she specifically i think was talking about specialist teachers Mm. because like you know in the home i'm not saying that homeroom teachers 
don't have a hard job. And Talk they, shit, they Rob. Do, do work it. Very hard. Just do it, man. You want to look straight in the camera? You know, one thing about homeroom teachers that they don't understand that I understand that they should understand. I am busting my knee for these kids. <laughs> How did you get the the partial knee injury though? Was it jumping jacks? So basic, I'm, am I being a dick? Basically, by saying? no. I, I really I do said, think it was. No, dude, I only said jumping jacks because I saw your girlfriend's Instagram, Erica's Instagram story. Right, that's the first Where, thing that I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> she showed like you know all your your beautiful remote learning going on. Yeah. And I talked to Matt. I, I briefly mentioned this to him, and he goes. Whew. My daughter's gym teacher just just like face fills up the whole screen and just like 15 push-ups. Let's go. So it's just like eyes, basically. You're not getting any activity. <laughs> so funny. So I got to give it to you oh my because God. PE is one of those things like mirroring and seeing what someone else does is very important. So it's it's cool. No, you're, absolutely. And like I was just telling them, busting your joints over it. Yeah. You know? Using well, that CPS health plan. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know the thing is, I feel like in the classroom, like when we're in the gym, you know, like. I like almost can't do the exercises with them unless they're the younger kids, you know, because like the younger kids, I have them stay in one spot and they do stationary exercises. So they're all exercises that like you don't have to like be moving around the gym to do. Mm. Um, oh, so you don't do it with the older kids because it's it's too intensive. They, I, they, I thought you were going to tell me that it would demoralize them and yeah. as they're entering puberty, they wouldn't allow them. They wouldn't be able to advance to the next level. Let's go, you sack of shit. Mentally. <laughs> <laughs> like, th honestly, I do that because, like, it's more of, like, a kiddie thing. Like, I try to just be a little yeah. more, like, you know, treat Play the older lot. kids like adults. You yeah. know, just a oh, little that's bit. Cool. That's cool. So, like, I have them, like, do straight up, like, laps. Yeah, coach isn't know? taking the laps with, with the, the team. That makes sense. Well, also. And you are, co yeah, you are Coach Garcia. So. Some of the, I like when they call me coach. They're like, coach. A lot of the Hispanic kids will call me coach. Coach. Yeah. But um, the thing is, like, point is, if I do the exercises with them in the gym, I'll get distracted to the point where some of the kids take advantage of that. And then they'll start to mess with other kids, mm. you know, like just touching them yeah. or slapping them, you know. And yeah, it's I like, can see it. So, like, I literally have to just stand there and, like, scan, you know, and, like, you know, make that's, sure no one's doing anything. That's an exercise in and of itself. You know, yeah. just the neck craning. Yeah. The constant neck craning. With like a vulture. Have you come up with any sort of new technologies to help your PE class in Corona? Slash, have you found one good exercise that translates well to home? Or like, how much is your I'm your, really your physical education that. game? How much do you feel like it needs to change up due to the home restrictions? Have you found a like lot. someone? It has yeah, to do you know? A lot, can you man. see like the space that they're working out in at home? Or so like, real quick, let me talk about. So the th reason why like my knee was messed up is because now that I'm just sitting in, in front of my computer, and I don't have to worry about behavior management so much, um, I feel like useless if I'm just sitting. All right, let's go jumping jacks for one minute. Okay, yeah. rest. You know, if I'm just sitting there watching them, it's like. You know that's kind of bogus in my opinion like i mean matt so, didn't seem too happy about yeah, it so. exactly so you know that's why i'm there like working and ex that's exactly the point too if teachers like see that i'm doing it with them they're like oh shit like you know he's he's not just sitting on his ass you know he's actually doing it with them and leading by example you know oh dude that's a big deal yeah. and matt also mentioned something to me briefly about how um there are like there's like groups of moms that talk and how one some person got yelled at, but then like all the moms knew it was actually the teacher's fault. That's it was funny. actually his school's like music teacher. That's like oh it was actually God. the teacher's fault because they could hear, like the parents could hear yeah, them yeah, yelling. Yeah. And it yeah, wasn't even that they, they're all sitting there, you know, like listening. Obviously, they have stuff yeah. to do, but one all it takes is one parent yeah. to be in on that Zoom call to hear what's going on. And you either got a good or bad reputation. So, yeah, that's why now, like, I'm very much like, you know, like my big issue is that I can't mute kids. Or kick mm. them out like for the way it's set up in google meet if you're not the host teacher of the meet like if you didn't set it up you can't mute kids you can't kick them out are you not the host teacher no because like what happens is that so they don't want to try and streamline everything and make sure that like there aren't kids who have issues like connecting they stay in their homeroom class the whole day and oh. sometimes they'll log off for like They'll end the Google Meet call for like, that. you know, yeah, for yeah. like lunch or recess, but they don't want them to be like, all right, now it's time for specials. Go over to the specials, you know, no, meet, that's, that's then, yeah, asking you know? for problems. Yeah. yeah. But the issue is like now I have to deal with it where it's like, so and so, you know, your microphone's on. Can you mute, mute your microphone, please? So and so, you know. Yeah. And that's like, embarrassing for the kid. And that's weird. But it's just like then I'll be like talking and talking and talking and like they're not listening or they can't hear me. 
and sometimes like it just doesn't work like my audio like doesn't work sometimes and like sometimes i can't hear them but yeah the point is like yeah i know parents are listening so i have to be like very calm and like thank you you know like one time course, i accidentally slipped and this kid his name's Derek, mm. and he just kept like Let's unmuting him d. himself Let's say d, yeah, d d boy he kept like unmuting himself and i had just told two other people like son can you mute yourself you know and i'm like Derek, can you mute yourself thank you and then right away i did it again i'm like all right we're about to start this video and when i do a, like a go noodle movement video or whatever I have to mute myself, otherwise it's like, hi, welcome, <laughs> hi, welcome, we're gonna do some, we're gonna do, it's like double the audio, so I'm like, god damn it, so I was like, alright everybody, we're doing a good job, let's keep our mics off, we're gonna start, and then Derek unmutes, and I'm like, Derek, mute your microphone, I'm like, thank I you. I got it, I'm ready, here, here it is, you need to somehow come up with how muting the microphone, like tapping that button or whatever, it's like a PE thing. Like yeah, you're right. somehow you're using your, your finger's <laughs> ligament to like, you're strengthening Let's your... practice, everybody, 100 reps. Yeah, and you could kind of trick them into it. Like start as yeah. like a texting exercise. Like who can text this the fastest you're or funny. something? Yeah, that's Or, you funny. know, who can type this the fastest? I mean, uh, it just translates into being able to mute yourself faster. Like you're just using the, these these new powers again. Or them. I'll make them sick of it and they'll be like, oh my God, I hate unmuting and muting. I'm just going to be on <laughs> mute the whole time. <laughs> I don't want any trouble. Don't any problems. Yeah. <laughs> We don't have to talk about school the whole time. Honestly, no, no, you're, I mean, you're about to go hunt. I have that all day. But um, it's really interesting, you know, just the f like what you said about technology. You're like, here's what I wanted to answer your question. Like, am I finding that I have to do like different things? So like, yeah, you know, I tried doing alphabet yoga with my students and mm. that was kind of a mess because I didn't think about like, OK, well, now I have to move the camera down so they can see me. So I'm constantly moving my laptop, which that's not ideal. Mm. It'd be great if they could just see me the whole time and I can just show them. But also for them, it's like now I have to tell them, all right, move your camera where I can see you. You have, know, have you looked to see if Gaim, the yoga company, sells webcams? If, <laughs> if somehow they have one, if they're willing to donate, yeah. like millions to CPS schools all across. If not, no, I'm just so. something you can maybe request a donation for, if at all possible. Plus, it sounds that's like you, I, I know you're joking, but that's that's actually a good idea. You <laughs> well, know? At, le at least with the Google thing, you could maybe suggest like, hey, let's maybe uh, be able to set teachers at a, as administrators or something. Or yeah. Be able that, to change the setting. Google so. is fucking up. I keep talking to let's Erica. She keeps saying how like on Zoom, it's so much better. And like, so here's basically Ooh, Google. Shots Meet. fired. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Google Meet doesn't allow you to take one group and send them right away to another group. But Zoom, you can do that. Oh. Oh, shit. So that'd be big for me because yeah. I can be like, hey, everybody, all right, now I'm going to transfer all of us to my PE Google Meet where I have all the control. And now you're mine. Hell yeah. You know, like just, yeah. Cause that, like, that or at least the, the IT guy at your school should be like sweating bullets, smoking cigarettes, like at a switchboard, like back in the 1900s. He should be he setting probably that up. Is. He should be. Because <laughs> what's funny, the, uh, the tech guy at our school is actually one of our other specials teachers. Oh, no shit. Yeah, he used to be a math teacher at our school. But then he wanted to do special, so now he's a like Steam. Do you know what Steam is? It's the like gaming platform. <laughs> Steam? No, I'm serious. Steam, the gaming platform. I don't. I'm not aware of Steam, the gaming platform. It's like uh, if you play computer games, like you have to download them off Steam. It's like the App Store for computer I, games. I just started using computers recently because of virtual learning. <laughs> <Not kidding. laughs> what about your Steam? No, it, it's like a science like class. It's more. It's kind of like physics based i think and and also oh, computer based it's science like computer technology science education like, yeah art and math yeah yeah, yeah. sorry okay. something like that school steam it used to be stem correct and they added yeah yeah arts. art yeah which um, nah, okay, i didn't mean to roll my eyes today. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny because stem the whole point was well, well, it's not art we're not talking yeah, yeah. <laughs> about art this acronym does not include art okay we're talking about left brain shit and they're like, but you need to use your right brain a little, right? For the left, but I guess. Yeah, like, everything needs balance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God <laughs> damn it. What do you even have an acronym for? No, I, I, I mean, I'm a... I'm someone who studied, like, hard science, even up to the collegiate level. And then, mm -hmm. obviously, I, I appreciate arts or creativity. So I, I, I do think it's both worlds, obviously. For sure. It's just, well, that's it's, a it's lot funny. STEM was, like, the thing that didn't have to have... Uh, the yeah, 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 exactly. Well, I think our, our <laughs> science is getting so complicated. You do need to keep a creative mindset. You need to look at an analogies in nature, and you need to yeah. have sort of a free associative brain, I think, to make... Uh, a lot of the, the leaps now, a lot of the scientific discoveries. It's yeah. not all stepwise conclusions at this point. You have to be able yeah. to do some free association. Yeah. So they should actually change STEAM so the A is at the beginning. <laughs> it should be a, a STEM. A STEM. A STEM. I'm in a STEM. 
or it's, nature. It's STEM AF. <laughs> <laughs> F-A. F-A. No, no. <laughs> uh, no, we can make this work. Science, technology, yeah, yeah. education, math. Arts, fucker. <laughs> Arts, you fucker. Give me a break. It's got to be in there, too. <laughs> That's great. Uh, we, we, you know, this is the earliest yeah. podcast we've ever done. We were talking about the garbage machine going by yeah, earlier yeah. down the alley. but That was like a scene out of a, a movie. It like, was. That's like the opening to like a the new Larry David movie. Dun, you know? Dun, like just, dun, yeah. Da, 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 da. Just, uh, we, we were both literally just standing here, not talking, looking at the sanitation workers, like, Taking the garbage. Right, well, you know, time I made that coffee. joke. Rob spit coffee out. There was no. He didn't want to say it. it was the funniest <laughs> thing. He said it was the funniest thing you ever heard. We got it on tape, but we decided to scratch it because it uh, there was too much commotion after. We it. just wanted to have that moment in our memories and no, dude, nowhere any, else. Anytime you have to delay the start, you have to pretend like the the, the jokes. Everything was just top notch. You know, <laughs> that was it, man. That was our fucking chance, man. So now we're gonna sue the sanitation. <laughs> company of uh chicago streets yeah. and sanitation yep i'm actually in three lawsuits with them for unrelated matters so i'm gonna try not to make it an even four <laughs> i think i'll stick to three for now you know after they started adding uh in chicago they started adding the, the water to the streets and sanitation so uh, Wait, I, I have a lot of drain water issues that not <laughs> <laughs> you're not supposed to put blood and bleach in the water it's like whatever <laughs> right, i don't need a fucking citation over this no, they did this thing where they um they charge you now for the drain water through your streets and sanitation through your trash collection. Interesting. So you pay for um basically like you pay your sh- city of Chicago department of like water whatever the hell uh your uh-huh. department of water bill and it includes like trash pickup in essence. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. they're slacking off. That's what you're telling me. Honestly, I'm gonna look straight into the camera for this one. The <laughs> Chicago streets and sanitation, you've done a fucking fantastic job. I put out tons of trash this year crazily in, yeah. in considerate ways and inconsiderate ways they've always taken care of business man however this morning that was a little too slow <laughs> come on now and we, the, where's the teamwork the guy in the truck was just sitting there oh well come on how Probably long you, how long you the lived morning in chicago radio show <laughs> yeah, yeah that's how it goes man so you can't leave the truck unmanned someone's got to be in there uh, cutting up all the uh all the tips i'm sure they're getting throughout the day those paper <laughs> envelopes <laughs> actually early on in corona i did tip my garbage men because i was throwing out some wild shit oh and, yeah and also Damn. yeah and it was in this period where i was like feeling bad because they were still having to work and everyone right. else was staying home at how that did point. you do that you just went up to them and i found you... that when you when you go up to people and very confidently give them an envelope full of cash mm-hmm. there's not a lot of problems in them accepting it <laughs> makes sense yeah. but it's oh no it really it's almost like one of those things like just leave no chance like stuff it in their hand and walk away you're know, like there's no chance for them to look at it or say no or whatever that would make um, me nervous but people take money yeah. people do accept money i've true i found yeah that. it's no big deal <laughs> i was gonna do the whole take take the five and then slap it in yeah. his hand but uh, he had like gloves on and shit and you I didn't want to put it in his shirt, right? I mentioned, yeah. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> Using Good words job. and shit I never used. You fold it the, la- the long way. You know I mean? <laughs> oh, God, that's the worst. <laughs> I noticed you, uh, your lapel could use a little bit more flash there, so I wanted to get a, a Jefferson sticking could out. Could use a little more Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you think I'm that generous, actually. Appreciate I don't think that. I actually answered the question about the knee. Basically, when I get a lot of activity, it, it like pressure builds up i guess you know like gas like because you know like when you crack your knuckles and shit it's because of gas buildup and that's what makes the sound i've heard that and yeah. so basically me what happens is that if I've i get like from you like if i <laughs> it's like it's just wrong. now it's wrong. from you it's just r- now no no <laughs> no i have heard that from you but like it'd be funny if you like it was wrong but i was just like yeah i know that's true but i'm like wait I, you're <laughs> the one who told me this before and you're just reinforcing the i lies. was so i got that from my physical therapist former okay. physical therapist you're in the industry so i believe it <laughs> <laughs> i was just thinking about that the other day like i should just go up to people like what do you do i'm in the health industry I'm a health professional, which I guess technically. Dude, you are in the PE health teachers. industry. I mean, it's True. funny. Obviously, we should. It's funny. Lay on that hard. <laughs> <laughs> we should lay on that hard in this podcast. But basically, uh, like if What's I like if I health- try and run a lot, yeah. Rob tried to tell me he's a healthcare worker. <laughs> <laughs> he's in healthcare. But hey, yeah. actually, in all honesty, um, you're the most upstream healthcare worker that there is. You know, if you think about holistic human health. Right. I'm it, starting them when they're young. No, for real. Well, yeah, you're the, was, you're the most upstream it gets. Like if doctors could get in your ear, right, and then you could get in the the children's ear, right. You have a real partnership going on. Mm-hmm. Well, I do have a, a earbud that uh, streams <laughs> sponsored to a by Mo- sponsored by Mosaic, <laughs> sponsored by WebMD. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, but like, you know, I think about that because like, so I feel like it's any teacher would agree with me. I think like, you know, if you first get into a school, the hardest time you're going to have is with the older kids. And I feel like to any of that makes sense. And then as you go along, so basically like last year, my eighth graders were just terrible. You know, they were so disrespect, not like, you know, they never like threatened me or like, t like cursed at me or anything like that, but like, they just wouldn't listen. And like, they would like be unreasonably upset if I had to like kick them out and everything. But like the younger kids, they don't, you know, like now sixth graders, like if I like Tom, come on, let's go get up. Come on. You're being lazy. Come on. You know, like I've, you already rested for blah, 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 you know, and they'll like, like, oh, okay, I guess. And it's just because I've had them since they were in kindergarten. Maybe. It's like the more exposure you have with them. You sure it's not because you've been exercising with them for years <laughs> from when they were young? Like, you call them lazy, like, Mr. Garcia's serious, or Coach Garcia's serious, because he just outlapped me yeah, last yeah, year, yeah, the year yeah, before. Yeah. And these other kids are like, fuck you, you're not working out with us. Like, what do you know? Matt actually just told me this story about Vince McMahon and how he, when everyone, anytime anyone, like, won't do a wrestling stunt, uh -huh. he'll fucking do it himself. Really? Like, it's fine, it's not a big deal. That's so funny. Oh, my God, that's hilarious. <laughs> And he's in his 70s now. I guess he's still got that fire. Damn. Vince, that's... I was just watching something the other day. But that no, was like it, a flashback to them. It, it's not you. It's the older kids, though. It's just that age, man. It's well, I just meant... You're yeah, right, it's though. Terrible. It's just exposure. That's what I'm saying. Like, you, the more you're exposed to them, like, the better they'll listen. And, like, you know, they trust you more. But also, like, if you start with them relationship young... Relationship building. Yeah. So, like, right now, like, all of my first graders... So, my big thing now is, like, I tell them... Um, like rest whenever you need to rest. Like, I, I don't want you to feel like so exhausted that you're like, oh my God, I don't want to do this again. Like just rest when you need to rest and then keep going if you can. But like the little kids, they'll just like all keep going. Like, or, you know, a lot of them will just follow me. And if I go for the whole time, like they'll follow me. But it's just like getting them when they're young and thinking like, this is normal. Yeah, we just exercise till we're tired. And that's an everyday thing in PE. Like they'll get used to it. Oh, yeah. You know, and like, yeah. Oh, their kids, it's not so much. Specifically, yeah. it goes mentally too, but with physical uh, attributes, your body has an incredible ability to meet your expectation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're, set, you're setting people's expectation for themselves long term. Yeah. It only takes like one good or a bad PE teacher to set someone exactly. down the whole course, especially since they have you like year after year. Yeah. I was thinking about like my former PE teachers and like, I think I've only had three well, not only, but in grade school, that's kind of a lot to have three. But we had one for a really long time, one for like a year, and then the other one I had for like maybe two years or just one year. But he's still there now. Like did, he still teaches where I. Did they have school. radically different styles? Like, did you have to go from a super tough person to like a super cool, so, cool type person? It's like oh, so. Don't that's worry, basically don't what worry it was. About it. Our other PE te our last PE teacher, he was like the cool one. You know, and like, yeah. I think I told you that before he would like kind of make inappropriate jokes, but like, you know, we all thought it was like the coolest shit ever. Like, you know, yeah. <laughs> no cursing or anything, but he would just be like a little inappropriate. But he was like the cool teacher who like would listen to hip hop and stuff like back before, like when, you know, when you're a kid, you're like, our teachers aren't real people. Like, you right. know, they're, you know, they listen to music. Holy shit. Not only that, they listen to hip hop. Exactly. He tells yeah. you to get up. Come on, let's go. Get up, run. <laughs> I don't want you getting down there sleeping. I never sleep because sleep is the cousin of death. You know, he like <laughs> yeah, throws, yeah, it, yeah, throws yeah, a yeah. lyric in somehow. Oh like, what? my God, that's great. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I got to start doing that. But I don't know if with today's modern hip hop, it, it wouldn't really blend in that well to my classroom. You just got to sip a little codeine, you know, <laughs> before you, uh, you just got to have, have some syrup. I do you. drink my water out of a double cup. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they gotta take it within context. You know, they gotta take it seriously. Absolutely. At least, or do some sort of like mumble rap. You know, along with yeah, the instructions, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you could. It doesn't have to be that you're on codeine, cough syrup. But yeah, and then I'll be the worst PE teacher ever. That, really, like, probably would you say? There's no worse drug probably uh, for <laughs> for teaching PE <laughs> than uh, coding. taking drugged up cough syrup. Yeah. There's probably there's always a worse for everything, but why well, I put it in my coffee, right? That's Heroin would be bad. <laughs> but with the coffee, I don't know. I don't know how these things mix. See, a lot of times we talk about drugs like they're, or, you know, effects like they're a single thing. But often it's coffee plus codeine mm -hmm. plus weed plus cocoa pebbles plus. Like there's like 14 <laughs> things coursing through your veins at any one period. Actually, what's funny, I think cocoa pebbles is technically when you, 
like lace your weed with PCP or something like that. It's called that? I think so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cocoa Pebbles. I'll have to try that I think out. think so. <laughs> <laughs> Got some podcast anniversaries coming up. We can, uh, <laughs> we can check that out on camera here if possible. You're starting to get some of that beautiful morning sun. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's good you wore the hat, actually. It's kind of annoying, but, you know. Yeah. It's going to be rough. Do it for we'll the probably pie. only have like 38 more minutes here. Don't worry, <laughs> don't worry about it. Yeah, we still got time. I know. I, we I got to say bit. we got like 17 minutes we got or bit. more, you know? Oh, yeah. Cue no, that it's... second uh, intro <laughs> song. <That's... laughs> Play it back. Play that shit back. But I was going to ask, your... how are things uh, going with you in the job search? I'm not searching for jobs. I mean, that's what I figured. But, you know, I just, you know, <laughs> just if you're casually, you know. My job life. Uh, no, good. I, cool. you, know, you know, I have... Um, a lot of projects here when i mentioned to you when my tenants just moved out so i can mm-hmm. finally get my uh my claws into their apartment and, and do a couple <laughs> upgrades that have been a long time coming they're about they're about 10 years and you're gonna rent it out again right yeah cool absolutely so you're uh, not gonna turn it into a one you know one actually hit. going up there it's on the third floor i uh i'm like damn this got some fucking views up here i think you got yeah, some yeah. views uh-huh i'm like this would be a great podcast studio that'd be a great podcast studio <laughs> Oh my no, God. I, I gotta rent it out. That'd I be amazing. It out. It'd be so wasteful. I already have oh, uh, be, yeah. decent square footage as is, and um, obviously in the pink garage here next to right, us. So yeah. I got plenty of options. No, I'm renting it out. Cool. Um, my time off of work has been amazing. I, I'm hell yeah. Man. I'm nearing the final element of uh, a kitchen remodeling that I'm doing. Or I'm yeah, just I was just gonna say redoing yeah. my kitchen. Yeah. The floor is installed. It's all covered up. You can't see now. But oh, okay, cool. Got about half the walls up. Uh, appliances were delivered, so I got like a refrigerator. Again. I forgot you got new appliances. Hell yeah! Yeah. Damn. No. Yeah. It's nice. the way. It, it's just the way it worked out. Yeah. Cool. It's like time for its cycle, and then, uh, yeah, it's been excellent to have all the time to to you know work on these videos to yeah. get a lot of shooting done. This is the, this is the thirty eighth episode. Damn. This is the thirty ninth episode. Thirty nine. Sorry, just my mind went blank for a second. Holy Thirty nine. Yeah, absolutely. Damn. Yeah. So. I, I ended up like averaging 52 videos my first year of shooting, my first year of production. Wait, you mean- My first podcast was filmed October 4th, last year, 2019. Damn. And uh, I want to have 52 videos posted by uh, October 4th. That's Wait, m- you mean this is the 39th podcast video, or? Correct. So I- Damn. I do the, you know, we do the Jam Journal ones, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we're going to, we have 12 of those. 11, well, 11 that's posted. That's what I'm saying. Are you counting the Jam Journals? In I'm going to post that 12th okay. Jam Journal, the second part of the Fovinia that we did right, so it'd be 12 right, of yeah, those yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. and then I need to have 40 pods and this will be 39 I need to okay, do cool. one more somehow cool but uh, I'll average about one video a week which is fucking insane I feel like 52 videos on is, average man considering there, I mean the average long run time due to the long podcast is, it's gotta be 50 minutes or almost, yeah, almost yeah. an hour um, and then I, I instantly went to Nepal for three weeks once we yeah. once I started last year and mm-hmm. uh the coronavirus obviously yeah. in terms of making things difficult to shoot i didn't plan on doing all these outside yeah so big difference but uh what was i gonna say i feel like you have to do one like over zoom or something you know you know like or do you not want to same i no, i of I course it's i would like, have done that already I, i'm against it yeah I am. Okay. I, it's fucked up. Like I want to. It sucks. Act. Like when you listen to podcasts and they're doing it over Zoom. But yeah, continue. That's it. Yeah. That's all you need to hear yeah. right there. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm I'm a timekeeper. I'm a drummer, so I'm very specific with timing. Uh, also, just I think with you know comedy. Comedy, you need good timing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Zoom, any sort of lag, AV lag, it's the killer of comedy. Oh yeah, Internet yeah, based, yeah. software based, <laughs> whatever nothing, the fucking reason is. There's nothing worse than like someone saying a joke and like everybody like just waiting. Because they're like on yeah. their end, they're like waiting for it to come through. Yeah. Yeah. No, and right now, like we can talk over each other a little, mm-hmm. which is incredible. Because like yeah. we can almost like smooth out each other's comments and, and right. very easily transition into different sentiments. Um, I over Zoom, it definitely changes what the interviewer is like too. Because I've been watching so many Zoom interviews on TV. A lot of like TV shows have switched even to this like online. Right. People just go off on long, long diatribes. Like when you know you can't be interrupted and when it's difficult, yeah. mm-hmm. it's yeah. not nearly the same. Yeah. It's funny. We started this whole conversation out talking about your like digital learning. Yeah. Uh huh. And you're obviously doing things I'm sure that are much more difficult to translate. But but podcasting, because I have the option, because I've chosen, to, I have the ability to keep doing this even outside, I much prefer to do it. I'd rather do yeah, less yeah, episodes yeah. outdoors than just do more of like 
shitty episodes. Right. So currently, I have no plans to ever do remote ones. Yeah, it's like, just, and it's just not, it's not the medium to me. It's a different thing. It's shocking too how like I was just listening to a podcast and like the guest that was on had the worst fucking audio quality. It's like it was getting cut out and like just you couldn't understand certain parts and it sounded really far away. It's like. Are you like on your fucking phone on speakerphone? Like, what what is going on? Like, it's they couldn't pr- send you a mic. Uh, you know, it is. Pr- it does seem to be that way. I'm shocked at how many people use the stock Apple headphones and whatnot. Uh, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. I've been a headphone snob yeah. since we were like almost children. Mm-hmm. I've been lucky enough to have good headphones for yeah. a lot of my life. Like even since we were 14, whatever. Yeah. Uh, I remember when I I pods came out and we were in not they didn't come out when we were in high school i guess they were already they got popularized when mm-hmm. we were in high school um 2003 2007 and around that time i remember it blowing my fucking mind that at the time you, you get an ipod it was not a video ipod it just played songs yeah and it would be like mm-hmm. fucking four hundred dollars especially if you, like they had like the man. ipod color like came out with the color one it's like whoa yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it, so you can see album artwork the album it'd be like four hundred dollars <laughs> and then they would send you three dollar headphones yeah so you'd have a four hundred dollar music listening device with three dollar headphones yeah doesn't and make any sense yeah. doesn't make fucking any sense and now apple owns beats there's been that whole revolution right and but beats, it's airpods now are a thing you know you could argue yeah. on the heels actually of, of what has been sort of the beats revolution but it, it's only now catching up to where we have this technology that we spend all our time with mm-hmm. that we spend thousands and thousands of dollar on it's only now that we're catching up to really using the old technology with this new technology. Just put a good right, yeah, microphone yeah. in front of mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Put a good pair of headphones with it. Yeah. Why spend thousands and thousands and go to all this trouble? People, you know, talk about business travel. People travel to New York to do an interview. They'll, they'll do yeah, insane yeah. things to uh-huh. do an interview. But they won't spend like $100 and get a better microphone for their house yeah. when they're doing yeah. like international interviews. It's crazy, yeah. It uh-huh. really blows my mind. And honestly, yeah. you know, in some way, I feel like it's separating out some of the lunacy you know like old media is changing in a way and there's tons of people like me and you know that anyone that's on youtube that can just post their own shit like it blows uh my fucking mind how often i have higher fidelity than like the kelly clarkson show on nbc or some crazy shit like that you know like well because i think i was maybe watching a youtube video where someone was talking about that you know like oh no i was watching like this producer on twitch like he does beat contest on his show or whatever on Mm -hmm. his stream and like he'll give away stuff and he's like you know everybody uses this like i use this you know blah blah blah. it's just crazy how like it's out there like anybody can get it i mean of course not anybody but you know if you really save up your money and like invest in some equipment or whatever like whatever you're doing you can have a really nice camera that professionals use you can have a really professional mic you can have what you know in terms of the the Zoom era, number one, people need to get better lighting for their Zoom calls. Like, I think yeah. audio actually isn't even usually maybe the worst. Um, considering, yeah. I, and I say lighting because that's something you have in your house too. Yeah. I don't want to be an asshole and be like, you just got to go buy expensive gear because this is a bunch of, of expensive course, gear of and yeah, that's yeah, kind of yeah. lame. I'm not yeah. just suggesting that. I'm just more like reflecting upon the priorities of someone who will spend hundreds on an iPod or now it's $1,000 on an iPhone. So you have like a $1,000 device, but then all the ways in which your ears are communicating with that device it's through like the world's cheapest headphones it's a funny ass thing you were saying are airpods actually like good i mean i like them and i think i have airpod pros they're good the airpod pros okay just period they're good they have you know cool noise cancellation extremely convenient nice uh they're not cheap you know and then uh obviously they got a charge so so no i just meant because like you know even my airpods like those are i think they're good you know the bass is nice and in them and like, they are so yeah. in this conversation it'd be more you know you can hear it's more about the transference from the microphone i can't tell you how good the microphone is on the airpods it seems okay to me oh you mean to like speak to siri you're saying yeah because if like, if i'm gonna you know be on someone's podcast or whatever you know the when you set up at home if i put the airpods in you're gonna use the microphone in the airpods right right, right i would right. say that's even it's probably better than maybe the one under your keyboard or oh absolutely or through some of yeah, those yeah. but no, it's it's something needs to be added on top of that. The ba- the major problem with the AirPods, and I will say this very specifically too, this has to do with why I don't want to do zooms. Uh, it adds a delay. 
anytime you use a Bluetooth device of any kind, damn, it adds a lag time. You mean so just oh, from the, when you hearing it or from right. speaking into the mic both. too, both damn. each way, because it's it's transmitting the data back and forth. Yeah, and you're, there's constant lag. So it's like the lag from your um, your your AirPod or your mouth to the computer. Then the computer, the router, yeah. then the router, you know, to yeah. you, yeah. and then to, and then if you're wearing AirPods, then it, that has to travel from right. your computer yeah. up to your ear, which is why hardwired stuff, number one, has to be the answer. Yeah, of course. And you actually shouldn't give interviews and whatnot with AirPods, despite the fact that they look cool. Right. Is it you're adding lags at each step in that process? Where now we're yeah. hardwired in for everything. Yeah. This is like real time. Right. Quote unquote. Would it? Do you think? I'm just thinking, would it, obviously it wouldn't be, what if somebody had like their computer connected to like speaker or monitors or speakers? Would that be even better or is it the same as having headphones plugged in? It's actually worse because then the sound from the speakers bleeds into the microphone. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Right, he- right, headphones yeah, yeah, is yeah, just the saying. answer yeah, yeah, yeah. for keeping the sound isolated. Mm-hmm. And then you just got to hardwire everything. Right. Uh, some yeah. of the people actually that use the old Apple headphones, it makes sense. And I've seen some competent people choose to use old wired apple headphones versus airpods right. i think because they're killing the lag mm, okay i have i have the impression because they're killing the lag that's funny that we're talking about head i'm currently thinking about buying like nice cans you know like, like wired for, ones or yeah like you know just like uh i don't know i was thinking of the ones that you have or had i don't know if you said the audio technica ones like the oh yeah those are supposed a- to be I like don't... standard right oh, yeah mine would call maybe ath 150s or two okay. a lot of people wear those yeah. yeah a lot of people like those for studio headphones right that's what, yeah that's kind of why i want to get them but they I... last they're good quality yeah yeah cool uh only thing is it's got a pretty big dangly you know cord on there that's what i'm saying that yeah. thing and i, I want a cord like. but i like when you can remove the cord i've learned yeah yeah for sure because i think beats they they and i don't i'm not a, the biggest fan of beats right now in general despite the fact that apple's bought them which i think helps a little yeah but uh the whole beats thing they, they actually plug in and you can do wirelessly so you can do the bluetooth oh, version cool. and okay. you can just cool. you know plug in your ear but i heard those are like i mean Beats are like I heard. Beats are not really worth buying unless like you're a huge hip hop head. They jack up the bass on them, right? You know, yeah. I think that's the. Those have traditionally been the sound profiles for those headphones. Yeah. I don't really know now that now that they're um, they're headquartered in Cupertino. I don't know if they watered stuff down or yeah. you know changed things. It's hard to say exactly. They did seem to be like just overly polished, or they seem to be amping things up. Like a little too artificially. Right. The Beats ones. Well, I, I think you told me that you heard it from someone. They were the fake tits of the headphone yeah. industry. Uh-huh. Yeah, basically. Uh-huh. Basically. Yeah. So all about size. Yeah. Like the bass wavelength size. All about size. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, actually, I'm extrapolating a little so it doesn't sound so crass. Uh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's been, that was, uh, yeah, what I'd heard when, that was before Apple even got in them years ago. That's what people said. Mm, okay. Well, yeah, you know, I just think I've been really thinking about like recording equipment and stuff, you know, and like, so I, I finally, I don't know if I told you about this, but I have like in my ho- in my home, there's, I feel weird saying condo. I let's, feel like that's like kind of, that. that's a little douchey to me. It does feel like that, right? You know, like my condo. Plus it's not like my condo actually isn't like that nice. I mean, it's, 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 a, I love my condo, but it's not like flashy and like nice appliances and nice you know like we have shitty <laughs> i so me and erica were arranging our like cabinets in the kitchen and she's like where where should we i'm like where should we put this it was like a crock pot or something she's like oh maybe up there i'm like oh okay so i go put it up on this really high shelf and the shelf fucking collapses and we had all these glass jars and glasses oh, up there they all fell and shattered everywhere like 12 glasses. God damn, just shattered. Dude. And then I look up and I'm like, what the, What happened? What happened is that the shelf that was up there was too small for like the little, you like know, the like those. holes. Yeah. The, those, it, it was on. just like too narrow. Yeah. So like it was barely hanging on and I made one side like fall down. I hate and that. And then it, it fell this way. So yeah. it's like just really shitty cabinets. But anyway, we have this like the main living room then there's like an a family room or like we use it as our office and then inside that office there's like a little another area by the windows we call it the sunroom 
And then there's like a closet, which we just had all of our random shit in there. But now I cleared all of it out and I'm making it like my little music workstation. Oh, heck yeah. In the so closet? Like, yeah. So I set up shelves and like I have my monitor in there and like I was planning on putting like my amps in there. And Dude, like that's solid because then they sampler, yeah. uh-huh. jump straight to having a vocal booth. That's really, that's what I was going to talk to you about. That's what I really kind of want to do. But I have to think about that now so that I don't put up a bunch of shit before I put up paneling. Mm. You know, like I should put up some sort of like. I know they sell like sound paneling on Amazon or something, but I, was I don't know just if that's, you know, at some. Yeah. yeah. But uh, like, I mean, do you know anything about vocal booths? Like how to, the basics of like setting those up? From what I've seen, they're, um, they're, they're, they're kind of like a telephone booth style hmm. in that you, you surround yourself with foam walls. Right. You know, you hmm. want to get into it. <clears throat> really, you want the space and you can record vocals in like a hall or in, you know. Right. Yeah. Grand reverbial rooms or ones with reverb. But if you're just looking for a dead sound that you want to add effects on after, yeah, you probably just want as, as dead of a room as possible. Cool. So you're like throwing like a comforter over your head. And right. Like you right, said, right, throwing, right. putting sweaters up on the coat hanger and yeah, uh, yeah, putting, yeah. putting foam up on the walls. Like uh-huh. you're just trying to dampen as much as humanly cool. possible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause I think I might, might be doing that somewhat soon or maybe like I was thinking of somehow adding like an extension to it. Cause it's pretty small in there, but like I was thinking maybe somehow getting like, basically another extension that would go out and like it's a rectangular box basically Mm. that i like just push against like the opening of the closet door and that has like extra padding too but it's like more room to like set up and like i think if you put foam squares like the ones you mentioned on amazon i think Mm -hmm. it's like 40 bucks if you bought like a pack of those yeah you could get like 25 or more of them right for like i I thought i saw it was pretty cheap but it's like 40 bucks or something it's cheap it's cheaper yeah I it's thought I saw one that was 40 of them for 25 bucks. Something, yeah, maybe you that's know, what it is. It's like 40 that, for yeah. 25. Although, to be fair, you would have to then buy the like 3M command strips or something. You have to buy some sort of adhesive to get, it to to get them up. to stick. Oh, yeah, because okay, they're just right, pieces right. of foam. Yeah, yeah, exactly. To be honest, that's the hard part. Right. I've yeah. hung like acoustic treatments and whatnot before. Yeah, yeah. It's the fastening and make, making them look good over time is what's hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh huh, yeah. Because <laughs> most of the time, like, I've done acoustic treatments. It just looks like hell because it just blankets strewn up. I mean, you can see that in some right, of the old right, podcast yeah. episodes from the, the garage. But actually, I like that. I kind of wanted to just do that, you know? Cause I like so, it too, but... So basically, I have this window in that closet, and, uh, you know, I just get paranoid with, like, people being able to, like, look in. A oh, like, window in the closet? Yeah, so it's like oh, a window. Shit. And even though, like, the area right outside of it, you can't... Like, nobody can really break in through that window because there's, like, just the a pit basically like in between like our part of the building and the other tenants you know but they can hear your musical ideas and then exactly put them on napster (laughs) and get (laughs) a million million dollar notes napster's having a revival yeah no but like so i just put up this like wooden like uh, uh amazon box you know and and i just now i'm like drawing pictures on the part of the box whatever and like i was thinking of just i like that look you know like just kind of chaos but just a little bit structured. So like I was thinking of just putting cardboard boxes all over as like my sound paneling. That would help the treatment Yeah. versus a normal drywall. Yeah. It has a slight acoustic uh, difference. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But you know, I kind of like stuff like that, you know, and it was funny, I was talking to Erica and when I was setting it up, she was like, cause I was like, where could I put my skateboards? You know, I kind of want to hang them on the wall, my longboards. She's like, oh my God, if I left the like house like decor up to you it would be atrocious and i'm like to <laughs> nothing be, but boxes and skateboards and, all over the and i was like to be fair i literally just thought like i kind of want to like run my yellow extension cord like up against the door frame of the closet and down i think that would look cool but just because again i just like when things look kind of like chaotic but like it has its purpose you know for creative spaces i think it's supposed to help you to have a lot not clutter but to have a lot of stimuli around you oh yeah yeah, of course yeah it's supposed to be better for again that free associative thinking yeah yeah definitely yellow yellow extension cord yellow submarine (laughs) submarine to water water blue that leads to me stealing coldplay's song yellow on accident we were all yellow (laughs) yeah no that could i could i just end up being that you just get the same inspiration somehow (laughs) but i was gonna ask how's uh bass playing been going you've been playing that a lot or i no? played the intro to this uh this yeah, podcast was about oh, the yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. i hate to say i have not played that much man um 
it's it's weird you know I, i've been in this the studio a decent amount and then um you know a lot of times video editing is taking my time or something mm-hmm. else I, I that's something corona winter yeah, 20 that, that's going to be a big deal i'm gonna i'm gonna hit up that bass for sure because i know you would love it like playing the bass like I, over and over you know i do or love it it's crazy i haven't yeah. played enough i need to set it up with an amp my issue with uh like guitars and even mm-hmm. midi keyboards bass is like there's like multiple step process just to get it going where i'm used right. to being a drummer where you just sit down at the drum set and play I just completed one hour of the never ending <laughs> it's actually been 45 <laughs> minutes but that was the the tag i had prepared so we'll have to wrap this uh wrap this right the fuck up thank you for asking about my bass yeah, playing of course i know yeah. what i need to be doing right after this but uh i haven't been at your level let's put it that way i still uh i got a bit before i'm at well i was Rob gonna say S- man like if i can give any advice to someone learning any new instrument hit me like start off learning the major scale and minor scale just knowing like what those steps are and like that can help you learn like progressions which that changed my life when i learned like because you know i'd always hear people being like yeah we're gonna play a a one six two four five in b minor i'm like what like what like that means nothing to me yeah you know but like now when you learn that it's like oh wow that makes so much sense and like that's what really opened up my bass playing is just being like, all right, I'm going to go to from the start at the one and do the five, you know, the six, two. It's just like it makes it so much easier. You, know? you start to ingrain those steps sort of yeah. in your brain, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I, I, I need to. That that would be a great way. Um, I want to I think I'm going to do it like as I'm trying to take in some curri- uh, keyboard curriculum. So I'll try to do. Oh, yeah, man. That's yeah, my next step too. the high tone melodic along with the bass notes. I don't yeah. know. We'll see. Well, Rob, I don't want to keep you from work. You got some virtual educating to do. Yeah, you know, but it's always, always, this always happens. Like when I'm here, I don't want to leave, you know? <laughs> I don't want to keep on talking, you know? Hey, Rob, do you want to podcast in a beautiful yard in the sun yeah. with, with your good buddy here, or do you want to go to work? And it's like, uh, hold on, I'm going to call off real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're texting that tech guy who's like with the switchboard yeah. and a cigarette in the coffee. Two cigarettes. Oh, yeah. Coach Garcia's out now. I got to. <laughs> route this over to someone on google hangouts <laughs> that's another thing that's crazy to me like subs for this time you know like what's guess, up with that we have like an in-house sub now who like they're the person like who is there in case we have we need a sub um but like so like they're like submit your sub plans we were supposed to do that monday but i didn't because i'm actually having a hard time like coming up with sub plans because basically like when i do come up with sub plans they don't do them Mm. So it's like I have no motivation to do that because they're just not going to do anything anyway. And especially since they're on the computer now, they're probably all just going to turn their cameras off once they see it's not me and just be like, whatever. Like, I don't care. Mm. You know, but like... You should find an activity then that somehow finds out who those students are. Like the sub plan. Like, you know, I mentioned earlier doing like sort of finger exercise to turn that mute button right. on. Right. Like yeah, do the yeah. same thing with like computer screenshots. You just gave me a great idea, actually. What? Um, there are like, I remember when I was training to be training, when I was learning to become a PE teacher, and it's training. they, uh, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, they, uh, you just had to use learning cause you're a teacher. You want to make exactly, it seem, yeah. you're not a trainer. You're a, yeah. a, a <laughs> learning provider. What do you do for a living? I'm a kid's trainer. <laughs> <laughs> kid's education trainer. I mean, a teacher? Yeah, I guess. I suppose. <laughs> but like there, we learned like, what's the idea? So basically, it's a common practice where, like, uh, principals will take away the gym from PE teachers because they need it for an assembly or some bullshit like that, you know? Like, a lot of schools don't have auditoriums. Right. And uh, so they taught us, like, what happens if your principal takes your gym away? Here's what you can do. So they just taught us, like, all this, like, simple shit. Like, one of them was, like, uh, I think it's it's this. Like, do one thumb up, up and, then, and then switch. And the point. Oh, okay. You know, and then, like, see how fast you can do that. But the problem is some kids will, you know, be like, you know. I was going to say. Yeah. Because if if you're listening, Rob's doing thumbs up and then finger pointing. I got to be more mindful of that. But when you do thumbs up and finger pointing left, right, and then switch back and forth, you want to get the gun out instantly. Yeah. It's confusing. Yeah. So it it also promotes, you know, anti-gun violence and coordination. (laughs) I can't do it. But, yeah. Well, I'll have to practice that for next time. And then I'll, of course. I have a sweet bass line that we're doing this along with. You know, also, the, time. the next time that we do this, we have to do it for like two hours. Because I, I feel like s- every time, <laughs> like I'm, I'm like having to rush out of here every time. Uh-huh. You know? I know. We do have that reputation now. We do have that like 38-minute episode yeah, or something yeah, like based uh-huh. on that. 
that's partially me too. I could have been set up a little earlier. Um, I could have uh, gone down my alley and gotten rid of all the garbage ahead of time. I could have called off work. So, you know, that's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's me. <laughs> well, we'll just have to do it again, Rob. For sure. Thanks man. for coming yeah, by. Of course. Thanks for having me. Good luck with yep. the kiddos and we'll talk soon. Yeah. All right. Later. Bye.